Good evening, faculty member and my dear colleagues. Today I am presenting a case of my patient uh, of uh, 45 year old male, computer engineer by occupation, resident of Delhi, history given by himself. And chief complaints uh, are he had two episodes of red colored urine and rising serum creatinine in last two months. History of present illness. My patient was apparently well two months back. Like, uh, total duration is two months? Sir, yes, two months. Sir. Or uh, how many episodes of... Uh, sir, uh, I'm, sir, history, uh, actually, I will well describe. No, you said total duration is two months only. Sir, two months back. He had and uh, two, episodes uh, two episodes of, of uh, reddish urine. Sir, reddish urine, yes. Okay. Uh, with rising serum theatrin. So these are the chief complaints. In history of present illness, my patient was apparently well two months back when he had first episode of red colored urine in which urine stream was throughout red from be beginning to end and he noticed his urine become clear gradually over next one day on its own. It was not associated with any flank change, burning maturation, fever, passing of uh, blood clot in urine and a decreased urine output. There was no history of recent drug intake, any blood thinner drugs, vigorous exercise, trauma or recent urological procedure and no history of crabinuria or lipnuria. He went to a local physician where he was found to have a normal blood pressure and he was advised some routine blood test which came normal and he says on specifically asking of uh, uh, serum creatinine he says his serum creatinine was uh, 0.9 milligram per deciliter and no treatment was given at that time. After seven days of first episode of uh, first episode, he had mm -hmm. second episode of red color urine, which was also subsided gradually over next day spontaneously, and there were no added complaint in this episode. What was the duration between the two episodes? Sir, uh, seven days. Now, patient was referred to nephrologist who examined him, and he was found to have a high blood pressure. 160 by 90 uh, millimeter mercury before that he was normal tensive and was not taking any BP medicines prior according to the patient. On further evaluation he was found to have increased serum creatinine that was 1.46 milligram per deciliter. His urine report was positive for blood and some protein was leakage in his urine and his uh, abdominal ultrasound was normal according to him. There was no associated history of decreased urine output, vomiting, diarrhea, fever, plant pain and burning maturation that time. He was started on anti-hypertensive drug amlodipine 5 mg once a day by which his BP remained well controlled but over the next few days he noticed some swelling over both feet which was in serious in onset and gradually progressed toward knee. It was pitting in nature and not associated with pain, redness of the skin or any discharge. And there was no aggravating and relieving factor was observed. His serum creatinine was also increased to 3.07 mg per deciliter from 1.49 mg per deciliter over these two weeks. Subsequently, no further episode of red urine, color urine was noticed and there was no decrease urine and there was no history of decrease urine output in this period. There was no history of shortness of breath, <coughs> breath orthopnea, PND, cough, hemopsis, uh, no history of fever, sore throat or symptoms of URTI, skin infection, no history of skin rashes, photosensitivity, no joint pain, oral ulcer, alopecia, dryness of mouth and eye. No history of decreased appetite, weight loss, generalized weakness, easy fatigability and nocturia. No history of hearing loss, visible, uh, visual abnormality and there was no history of intake of painkiller, alternative medications or drug abuse. Patient came to our hospital where he underwent kidney biopsy after checking his coagulation parameter and uh, post biopsy period was uneventful. History of past illness. No past history of diabetes, hypertension, tuberculosis, renal <coughs> stone disease. 
no recent history of hospitalization for any medical or surgical illness family history no history of kidney disease or similar illness in the family immunization history he received two doses of covid shield vaccine in 2021 and no booster dose was taken personal history non smoker non alcoholic patient diet is mixed appetite is normal bowel habits are normal so case summary my 45 year old male with no comorbidity presented with two episode of gross hematuria subsided spontaneously over next day with rapid progressive renal failure in which serum creatinine increased from 0.9 mg per deciliter to 3.07 mg per deciliter in the duration of 2 to 3 week associated with gradual onset of swelling over both lower limb with newly detected hypertension which was controlled by single class of <coughs> drug uh, a single class of anti hypertensive drug with no significant history of history suggestive of connective tissue disorder vascularities or no significant past history Yeah. In fact, these days, na, you should mention also about the COVID. Did he suffer from COVID or not? Sir, there was no history of COVID infection in the past, sir. No, no, sir, yes, no COVID infection. No COVID infection. So, what is your provisional diagnosis? Sir, my provisional diagnosis is uh, renal progressive, uh, uh, rapid progressive renal failure. Probably, uh, uh, cause of renal failure is uh, glomerulonephritis. And. थ्रोमोसिस Bilateral art, uh, renal artery or vessel vessel thrombosis in uh, in glomerular compartment, uh, anti GBM disease, vasculitis, immune complexes disease in immune. Just say artery, rapidly progressive. Yes, artery. Yes, artery. Don't classify it artery. Yes, just say that rapidly progressive. RPGN as a cause of RPRF. Yes, RPGN. So RPRF. partial obstruction can cause even after 30 euro pathy also can present with yes, this rapid rapid progressive renal failure which which classical disease uh, obstruction can cause uh, rprf any disease the characteristic presentation can be there of rprf due to obstruction but Sir. Anybody? Have you seen cases of uh, retroperitoneal fibrosis? Fibrosis, yes. Sir. So RP retro R retroperitoneal fibrosis. Retroperitoneal fibrosis. Then present right patient will present with rapid progressive renal failure. And unless and until you suspect it, ultrasound might show mild hydronephrosis, and uh, uh, there is no stone. Yes, sir. So then uh, the Maybe treatment actually is that if you do stenting and then. Uh, You do you try to then results are very rewarding. Bilateral, bilateral. So bilateral RPR, yes. uh, rep uh, retroperitoneal fibrosis. Fibrosis can compress bilateral okay. ureter or. So now this is rep RPRF. You said that this syndrome yes. is here. Out of RPRF, so I was objecting to your say when you said that it is glomerulonephritis. There is nothing like glomerulonephritis. Yes, sir. Either it is acute glomerulonephritis or it is a primary glomerulonephritis. Yes, sir. Either it is acute glomerulonephritis or it is a primary glomerulonephritis. Either it is a post-epidural, post-infectious rheumatoid arthritis, yes, or it is a primary rheumatoid disease, or it is some uh, secondary rheumatoid disease due to some various causes like vasculitis. Yes, sir. So what do you think? 
after uh, as per my RPGM RP, what is the cause sir RPG etiology probably etiology is i would like to keep my etiology uh, number 1 IG nephropathy yes. uh, with uh, a variant of RPGN. So IG nephropathy means it is first you should say that primary glomerular disease. Primary glomerular disease. Uh, yes, so primary it is a primary glomerular disease. Yes, sir, it is yes. not secondary. Yes, sir. So IG nephropathy also you are thinking of primary or secondary? <coughs> sir, primary glomerular. Primary. So <coughs> IG nephropathy. Why IG nephropathy? Sir, IG because uh, it is a uh, most one of the most common uh, worldwide. Uh, Uh, IG nephropathy, uh, worldwide glomerular disease, and uh, other one is my patient is 45 year old is presented with uh, so age is in his favor. Age favor macroscopic hematuria in which episodic to two episodes. Episode IG nephropathy patient 40 to 50 percent of patient of IG nephropathy can present uh, macroscopic hematuria, and uh, these are the two. And these are it can cause RPG and all. Yes, sir. Uh, the, uh, it has a uh, variant of RPGN, so there is a possibility of uh, RPGN with uh, IgA. Okay. And second one is uh, anti-GBM disease. I would like to keep uh, anti-GBM disease because anti-GBM disease has anti-GBM antibody disease. Antibody disease hmm. because anti-GBM disease uh, have uh, bimodal peak uh, first on thirtieth uh, th- third decade of life and second uh, <coughs> second one is on sixth decade of life. And anti-GBM disease most uh, commonly present with RPRF presentation, along uh, and in which maximum percent of the patient are having renal uh, involvement, and the only 40 to 60 percent of patient are having lung involvement. So that if it, there is a no lung involvement in this, uh, still we can keep our patient in a group of anti-GBM disease. Yes, uh, there are two syndromes. One is anti GM antibodies, and one is wood pasture syndrome. Yes, sir, wood pasture. So you are not say, saying that this patient has got wood pasture syndrome, yes, but he could be having anti GM antibodies. Anti-GBM antibodies. Yes, so so third, uh, third any other third possibility also yes, sir, you are having? Uh, third possibility can be renal limited vasculitis can be there. Okay. But uh, there is nothing to suggest. Yes, sir. In, in the history, history, there is nothing to suggest. So it is, it is always. Better to keep your open mind yes, rather than just yes, uh, having a foot uh, 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 on one diagnosis. Okay, so renal so limited. Renal limited vasculitis can be there, although there is a no extra renal manifestation in my patient. That is why I am yes. seeing my patient. Uh, you can say that that, that is, that is possible, but I, most likely I will rule it out because there is n- nothing to s- suggest in the history. History, yes, sir. That is why I am telling renal limited vasculitis. Okay. Any other question? And third one is IRGN can be there, sir. But there is no. But there is setting. no still, uh, second. Yeah. You don't have any setting for IRGN. Uh, but sir, uh, IRGN patient can present uh, <coughs> macroscope. Uh, there is a. No, no. Presentation e- is okay. Uh, but there has to be some. Sir, uh, a study which was uh, I have read, uh, read a, uh, a study and which was done in uh, Madras uh, Chennai yes, Medical yes. College in the year of 2009 to 2015, which mentioned. Uh, 49% of the patient had no evidence of uh, infection in case of IRG. So there is a also mm-hmm. a possibility of uh, infectious related disease in this presentation because uh, this group of patients are also presented with RPR presentations along with macroscopic imaging. That happens sometimes that subclinical sub episodes are there which yes, are usually are not detected. Yes, sir. But that continue. But I don't think they can. Okay, you can keep as a fourth possibility. Okay. Okay. Any other possibility? Uh, possibility is a C3 gene can be there, but it is very rare. So C3 gene can be there. Yes. So if you are sure, then <coughs> better to keep two or three possibilities in yes. the exam rather than. So the examiner, examiner might ask you, okay, any other possibility? Any other, but yes, you just so I would definitely uh, keep first three possibilities: yes. IgA nephropathy, anti-GBM disease, and renal limited vasculitis. Are the three possibilities which I would like to keep in my differential diagnosis. So, what are the various spectrum of uh, renal diseases starting from ATI to CKD? Sir, AKI. So in these in these diseases, no, in general, so there is a spectrum of diseases starting from API to CKD. So what are the various definitions there in between? Sir, so, uh, AKI, uh, CKD, and in between the, these two category, uh, AKD. 
तो डिफाइन ईच 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 टर्म इन एचआई यूजुअली यूजुअली सीरम ग्रेटिन इज राइजिंग फ्रॉम आवर्स टू डे एंड इन सीकेडी इफ गेट आफ्टर एचआई आफ्टर एचआई इफ इट इज नहीं व्हाट इज द बेस्ट एचआई एचआई इज आरपीआर नहीं नहीं व्हाट इज एचआई डिरेंजमेंट ऑफ रीनल फंक्शन फ्रॉम डे टू वीक बट इट शुड बी लेस देन थ्री मंथ यूजुअली सेवेन डेज टू हाँ यूजुअली सेवेन डेज टू weeks but uh, should be less than uh, three then months then next day and uh, CKD uh, if, if uh, no before CKD what is subacute renal failure acute subacute and chronic in such subacute seven uh, to have you heard of the term subacute and uh, rheumatoid arthritis yes sir what is the sub, sub, uh, new terminology for subacute rheumatoid arthritis Sir, by uh, by time period of uh, if uh, delay, if renal uh, function derangement occur between seven seven days to three months, further, huh, three months. Less than three months, more than seven days. Yes, so what is that? That is called subacute. What is the new term now, which is used? This subacute is the old term. Yes, sir. What is the term now? Anybody? Take it. Yes. RPRF. 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 So RPRF is the new term. नहीं मेन फीचर ऑफ आर पी जी number 1 history number 2 examination yes sir uh, in in history it is a short uh, short history it should be less than 3 month uh, and, and uh, renal uh, renal derangement should be occur because i i want to know that how to approach you yes, how sir. you have approach the diagnosis of rpg and in this patient yes sir so number 1 <laughs> presentation yes sir number 1 presentation by, present by, by presentation on set by presentation if uh, time period is important uh, Uh, if uh, renal derangement occur between seven to uh, less than three so months, so it is not a abrupt onset. Abrupt onset, gradual. So onset, if, huh. if a patient has got ATI, what is the onset? So sudden. Sudden onset. Uh, so may have orange urea and urea. And urea, yes sir. So it Usually is in this patient. Patients, in this patient, it is not sudden. Yes sir. Usually these patients. So are that is called insidious onset. Insidious. <coughs> onset. Okay. Number one onset. Number two. Yes, Number two. Usually these patients are not having hypertension. Yes. So that is also important. Yes, and most of the time, usually patients are normal tensive or, or mild, mild hypertension. Right in this patient, patient yes, has got mild and hypertension. Even even uh, even uh, edema <coughs> is not the part of uh, yes. RPRF. And oliguria. And oliguria. Usually, patient have oliguria. This all depend on the crescentic. Uh, uh, But not of necessary that all patients will be having uh, oliguria. Yes. But uh, most of the time, patient will never anyway. Yes. So anuria is not a feature yeah. of RPG. RPG, sir. Then hematuria. So patient can can develop with hematuria. This anti. And it, uh, the it is it it has to be rising rate means. Yes, sir. Rising. So worsening of renal function over a period of seven to seven days to two less than three months. Two months. Right. Light like in this patient, classical patient. Yes, sir. So in this patient, it is classically rapidly progressive renal failure. Yes, sir. And sir, ultrasound, if you do, sir, you will have normal size kidney get, or we will get a no, uh, normal size kidney size, normal size kidney. Not slightly. Of say adequate kidney. Adequate kidney. Okay. Normal or slightly larger kidney, yes, but also. Yes, yes, sir. In ultrasound, and uh, we will send the uh, blood investigation and urine investigation. In blood investigations, we will uh, uh, blood investigation. We will. Uh, uh, <coughs> rule of the infections like uh, <coughs> no i am not trying to vasculitic marker no, we have just to remain to yes, uh, the terminology yes, how, to, how you have made the diagnosis of rprf in this patient uh, so rprf rpg yes. okay and so, then i think you done a good job with the negative history like yes. trophy yes. infection yes. and then after that you mentioned the uh, <coughs> term vigorous exercise no history yes. Yes. yes why was that important Uh, because of macroscopic uh, and functional uh, hematuria, these history, these history are important because vigorous exercise can precipitate a macroscopic episode of 
macroscopic uh, gross imagery gross imagery episode so this uh, vigorous exercise is important and the rhabdomyolysis can cause even the rhabdomyolysis can cause so red color of the infection rhabdo you said no history of new drugs intake what drugs were you specifically looking for uh, sir basically uh, uh, <coughs> anticoagulant drugs or antiplatelet drugs can causes uh, and the drugs which can cause that won't give you renal dysfunction but uh, it is point can cause a episode of hematuria Okay. And and sir, uh, the few drugs can uh, also give the color of red color urine, so it can also be a cause of this red color. Urine. What else? Other big drugs. If I tell you 45 year old male hematuria and kidney dysfunction, three words. So what drugs you have to think about also? Uh, Cyclophosphamide. Uh, no. You can say the history of cancer or cancer, yes, uh, yes, yes. like immune drugs or radiation therapy, cystitis, all those things. But more common, NSAIDs. NSAID. 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 You can have severe papillary necrosis, hematuria, yes, and renal dysfunction yes. if somebody is taking a very high dose of NSAIDs. NSAIDs. You've come down to RPG and category, <coughs> and there's like ankylosis also. Yes. What drugs are there? Which are implicated, like drug-related anka. Drug-related uh, P uh, P anka, drug-related anka is P anka, basically hydralazine, uh, propylethylene uracil, minocycline, and uh, mentioned no history of tuberculosis. So isonia, the rifampicin. Yes, sir. Your T N F alpha inhibitors, fliximab, etanercept. Then propylthiazide and uh, metamazole. Yes. Those are the common implicated drugs. So that is why the negative history is also important. Yes. So, like sir mentioned, you have to make sure you've ruled out your pre and post renal post. component yes, by your history exam and basic labs <coughs> and the ultrasound, yes. so that now you can focus on your provisional diagnosis, the RCG and post. <coughs> Obviously, you have a biopsy. But now again. come to examination. In general examination, patient was conscious, alert, oriented to time, place, person, average build, height is uh, 5 feet 7 inch, uh, weight is 70 kg, and his blood pressure was uh, 130 by 70 millimeter mercury at the time of examination, measured in both arm in supine position, no postural hypotension, pulse is 92 per minute regular. Normal in volume and character without radio, radio and radio femoral delay, and all peripheral pulses palpable equally. And respiration rate was 18 per minute regular, thoracic abdominal in character. Temperature was 97 per night. His SpO2 was 97 percent at room on room temp room air. Pallor was absent, ictus was absent, no joint disc, no sinusis clubbing, and his uh, JDT was not raised. Uh, no palpable lymph node was there. Edema present bilateral uh, bilateral lower limb up to knee. Uh, it was fitting. Uh, condition of the skin and hair was within normal. Sir, so on systemic examination, there was uh, no significant finding was present on systemic examination. Like. Urine, sir, shall I tell you urine examination? What about uh, genitalia? Sir, there was no edema in genitalia. Genitalia examination, have yes, you done? Ha, yes, sir. PR? Sir, no, sir, PR was not done. Sir. Why? That is not part of examination. Yes, sir, it's a part of examination. But and did you me measure VP in all the four limbs? Uh, sir, all upper, hmm? upper arms. And sir, um, yes sir, um, uh, all four leaves sir. You didn't mention about the... Sir, yes sir, uh, there was no radio, radio and radio femoral delay. First? Pulse was not mentioned. Any, BP. Is there any word of no measuring BP in your limbs or not? Yes sir, there was a need of, to check the blood pressure in... Any, uh, but what diagnosis you can pick up by measuring BP in all the medium four limbs? Medium vessel <coughs> vasculitis or large vessel and vasculitis. Maybe having yes, sir. Auto arthritis. How do you know? Yes, sir. Right. What about coarctation of aorta? Sir, coarctation of aorta can present with uh, uh, with uh, 
with uh, radio radio uh, delay and how do you delay. measure the team or the sir the pick of uh, uh, sir the pick of graph on uh, the uh, above above the uh, knee on thigh Have you measured BP in your in ever in your life? Yes, sir. Then you should uh, be spontaneous. Then there should not be. What is the? I am going to ask you. What is the cuff size? Sir, cuff size is uh, uh, three fourth of uh, uh, three fourth of circumference of R. How do you know? That means first you will measure the circumference and then you will make a cuff. Or there is a cuff size. Is it adult cup size or not? Yes, sir. What is the top cup size? As a nephrologist, blood yes, pressure, you should know everything about blood pressure. Yes, sir. So, never write about cup size. So, in If about the thigh, you have uh, uh, wrapped the top. Then how how will you record the pressure? Popliteal uh, uh, muscles, sir. Where 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 will you feel that? Sorry, these muscles, sir. When popliteal muscles, popliteal muscles. Any renal bruit? Sir, uh, there was no renal bruit, sir. Where do you look for renal bruit? Sir, uh, above uh, above the uh, two centimeter above the umbilicus uh, and two centimeter and two centimeter later of above the umbilicus. Any other side in the body um, where you can still listen the renal bruit? Uh, sir, uh, inguinal area. Inguinal area. No, the renal bruit, sir. Uh, I have checked on the on this in the in, in this area. What is the renal angle? Sorry, sir. The renal angle. Renal angle. Sir, uh, renal angle, sir. Renal angle or. What is the renal angle? <coughs> Anybody? What is the renal angle? Twelve three bands. Yeah. So the rectus spine, 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 Renal angle may you can still sometimes uh, listen to bruit. But what are these sounds called? This um, you listen to these sounds. What are these sounds? Cough, cough, cough sounds. The pop, BP. It's a cough, cough sounds. What is this called? BP impetus. What is this called? What is it called? Spigmomanometer. Spigmomanometer. Suspect. Sir, I couldn't hear. Spigmomanometer. What? Ah, spigmomanometer. So, which method? 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 इससे पहले कौन से हैं इससे पहले कौन सा होता था मरकरी मरकरी why it has been banned because of sir मरकरी why it has been banned There might be among children accidental ingestion of mercury is possible as well. So mercury poisoning. So there's even mercury thermometer also have been found. 
So today you will go and read everything about it. blood pressure measuring, trough size. Anybody knows trough size? Into thirty centimeter. Into thirty into thirty centimeter. Yeah, square. 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 Thirteen to fourteen. Thirteen to fourteen. Sir, there are there are pediatric size also. You know, for a child, you you should have, you should know for a blood pressure in the child what percentile up to what percentile is normal. But it is important. Yes, sir. You might get a child eight year old in a Fraudy syndrome with the FSCS. Yes, sir. All these questions will be asked. Then how how you have measured the blood pressure in the child? You have to have with you normal graphs, percentile charts. Don't forget to take these charts in the exam. You should know how what is the how to diagnose blood pressure in a child. <coughs> what is the definition of uh, hypertension? Sir, uh, sir. In a, in a adult patient, if uh, systolic blood pressure is the uh, according to GNC7, sir. Uh, if the systolic blood pressure is more than uh, more than 140 and diastolic pressure is uh, more than uh, more than 90 terminology, it's called. Uh, या देखो तुम्हें ब्लड प्रेशर डेफिनेशन तो पानी आनी चाहिए ना एग्जाम में वी हैव ए गुड एंड क्लियरली डिफाइंड ब्लड प्रेशर हाइपरटेंशन यही बोलो रे बस 14090 तो भाई व्हाट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ ब्लड हाइपरटेंशन बोलो
सबसे पहले किडनी के पेशेंट में क्या देखते हो तुम जो की पार्ट ऑफ एग्जामिनेशन है फिर वो बोलो पहले किया तुमने इसका हाँ सर नहीं डन सर इफ इट इज योर पेशेंट इवन इन एग्जाम ऑल्सो यू आर सपोज टू डू यूर इन एग्जामिनेशन बताओ कैसे करो रही जो रिम पास करने में पहले शुरू में रेड आता है बाद में क्लीन आता है साफ आता है सर इसको सर हिस्ट्री वाइज ही हैज अ टोटल हिमेचुरिया टोटल हिमेचुरिया में सर होल स्ट्रीम वाज रेड हिमेचुरिया क्या होता है सर टोटल इन टोटल हिमेचुरिया सर इसको रेड कलर यूरिन आर पास थ्रू ऑफ द स्ट्रीम तो थ्रू ऑफ द स्ट्रीम हाउ सर फॉर इट टोटल इनिशियल इनिशियल हिमेचुरिया इफ रेड कलर पास
कौन कौन से होता है ड्रीम ब्लू होता है ना नॉर्मली तो ब्लू से क्या कलर हो ना ग्रीन येलो और रेड रेड ब्रिक रेड अब माइक्रोस्कोपिक कैसे करते हैं सर माइक्रोस्कोपिक वन ड्रॉप ऑफ यूरिन कवर्ड विद द कवर स्लिप एंड वन ड्रॉप ऑफ यूरिन डाल दिया आपने उसको कवर कर दिया बताओ भाई अगर किसी ने किया हो तो कैसे करते हैं उसमें सेंट्रीफ्यूज में दो ट्यूबे डालते हैं एक पेन आप डालते हो एक और डालते हैं बैलेंस करने के लिए फिर किस रेवोल्यूशन में उसको चलाएंगे जिससे कि आपके क्रास टूटे ना तो बताओ और जो नीचे रह गया क्या बोलते हैं उसको उसको क्या उसमें थोड़ा सा ड्रॉप रहने देना है तभी निकल रहे ना तो सारा ही फेंट दिया यूरिन फिर क्या निकालो रहे फेंट दिया फिर उसको अब अब उसको डालो रहे साइड पे समझे ना यूरिन थोड़े यूरिन डालते तो क्या मिलेगा फिर माइक्रोस्कोप में सर में डालते अब कौन सी पावर में देखते हैं यू है But not remember, sir. नहीं रिमेम्बर क्यों नहीं ये तो एग्जाम में भाई हम तो रखवाते हैं वहां पे जब हम जाते हैं एग्जाम लेने हम तो रखते हैं माइक्रोस्कोप पे दिखाओ इसमें किस पावर कौन कौन सी पावर होती है माइक्रोस्कोप की बताओ भाई टेन तो फिर टेन इज रो पावर फिर फोर्टी इज हाई पावर और हंड्रेड क्या है ये चीजें तो नहीं चेंज हुई थी भैया अब बताओ मुझे कि क्या डेफिनेशन है हिमेचूरिया की माइक्रोस्कोपिक हिमेचूरिया सिग्निकट कब होता है सर इफ इट इफ मोर देन थ्री आरबीसीज पर हाई हाई पावर फील्ड इन स्पन यूरिंग इन स्पन यूरिंग इन थ्री कंजर्वेटिव यूरिंग सैंपल पहले तो थ्री नहीं होता उसके बाद वट इज दार्क ऑफ रोमेटिस What is RBC cast? Sir, RBC cast is uh, uh, RBCs are mixed with town uh, town house protein in tubules, which uh, in di in distal tubules are collecting dust basically and make the shape of uh, tubular. दोबारा define करिए. Sir, what, what is RBC cast? Sir, RBC cast are defined as a RBCs are mixed with. Uh, Tom Hall, Tom Hall's Paul protein. These are the these proteins are gelatinous and adhesive, uh, which uh, in basically distal part of tubule, distal part of tubular collecting tubule, and uh, ultimately make the tubule uh, shape a uh, shape of tubule. So these kind of cast are tubular cast or RBC's cast. Okay. ट्रास्ट तो भाई ट्रास्ट डिफरेंट चीज है उसमें कोई भी सेल डिपॉजिट हो जाता है तो वो ट्रास्ट बनता है जैसे आरबीसी ट्रास्ट हो गया डब्ल्यू बी सी ट्रास्ट हो गया ग्रेनुअल ट्रास्ट हो गया ठीक है ना तो वो ट्रास्ट बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर तो वही रहेगी ना उसके बीच में क्या डिपॉजिट होता है वो बनता है तो वो डिसमोर्मिट आर पी सी कैसे देखते हैं सर फेस कॉन्ट्रास्ट माइक्रोस्कोप तो ऑर्डिनरी से तो नहीं देख सकते ना 
But why there is a dysmorphic RBC? Why there is a dysmorphism? Sir, uh, because uh, RBCs are passed through basement, uh, glomerular basement membrane and it is passes through our tubule where the urine osmolarities are because <coughs> the urine high, high or uh, low urine osmolarity can, uh, can disfigure the shape of uh, RBCs. So these are the two factors. Normal protein urea is how much? Sir, normal protein urea is 150 mg in 24 hours. 150 mg protein. Up to now. Uh, what is the molecular weight of uh, albumin? Sir, 60,000. Uh, 60, hmm? 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 68, 68, 68, 68, 68, 68, 68, 68, 68, 68, 68, Up to 15 to 20. What is the moderate weight of urea? Sir, 6 uh, 60. What are we? 68. 113. Uric acid? 168. ये सारे लो मोनिटरेड सब्सटेंसेस हैं ना ये इजीली फिल्टर हो जाएंगे तो यूजुअली बॉर्डर कौन सा होता है एल्ब्यूमिन को लेते हैं ना हम यस सर तो 60 बीटा टू माइक्रोड्रॉपलिन इसका क्या होता है तो ये ट्यूबुलर बीटा टू माइक्रोड्रॉपलिन 11000 वो भी आराम से पास कर जाते हैं yes, आते हैं या नहीं क्या क्या किसका और पासिंग मोर देन नहीं मतलब डिपेंड करता है ना ये लो मोटर वेट तो इजिली निकल जाते हैं मिडल मोटर वेट क्या होते हैं Parathyroid hormone, beta 2 microdroblin, these are middle monitor rate. And what are high monitor rate? Immunoglobin. 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 Now, urine examination is done. There is protein, sugar, microscopy. There is a lot of protein. Are these full-fit? He will ask you questions. ये आपने किया था या जो प्रिंटेड रिपोर्ट आई थी इधर रोटिंग वाली किया नहीं है इसमें प्रॉब्लम तो ये है यही मार्क आ जाते हैं एग्जाम में आपका पास फेल जो है ना एग्जाम में इतनी छोटी सी बात पे डिसाइड होता है जो कि छोटी बात नहीं है बहुत बड़ी बात है क्योंकि ऐसे नेफ्रोलॉजिस्� अब आप सोच के बैठे हो कि मैं आई ये नफरोबैथी पूछूंगा वो तो पूछूंगा ही नहीं नहीं वहाँ तक भाई वो जाता है तो तभी जाता है इसी वक्त थ्रू दिस स्टेज आप रिस्पाइकर को दोस्तों यूरिन आरएम की फाइंडिंग जाओ यस सर यूरिन आरएम सर कलर इस रेडिश ग्लूकोज नेगेटिव प्रोटीन थ्री प्लस ब्लड फोर प्लस किटोन ब्लड � and this was negative, bacteria negative, cast was negative. Cast is also negative, that's what the report. Yes. Proceed on for the last year. Yes, sir. In the other investigation, CBC, LFT and KFT was done. His HB was 50 gram per deciliter, TLC was 11.5. Six platelet count was normal, 178. In LFT, albumin was 2.86 and globulin is 3.27. KFT, urea was 1.46. Oh, sorry, creatinine was 1.46. Uh, <coughs> sir, ultrasound report shows uh, right kidney 
आपने फर्स्ट हिस्ट्री में तो आया फर्स्ट एपिसोड ऑफ हिमेज हो गया देन फॉलोड बाय सेकंड एपिसोड जो क्रिएट नेम वैल्यूज आपने बताया वो 1.49 3.0 फर्स्ट फर्स्ट रिपोर्ट दिस वाज द फर्स्ट 10 मैन ही इज इन द हॉस्पिटल एट द रिपोर्ट ऑफ 3.07 या 1.49 एट द टाइम ऑफ थ्री सर ही वाज इन द हॉस्पिटल अभी कितनी रिपोर्ट है जब हॉस्पिटल में है सर हॉस्पिटल में तो उनके बाद में लास्ट क्रैटिन वैल्यू वो 3.07 व्हेन किडनी बायोप्सी हुई था ओके सर आपका सवाल था एपीटीटी वो सर पीटी वाज 15 आईएनआर वाज 1.2 एसबीएस एजी एनटीएससी भी एचसी वाज नेगेटिव सीएन का पीएन का वन नेगेटिव एनए वाज नेगेटिव एंटीजीबी मेंटी बॉडीज वाज नेगेटिव सी थ्री वाज 88 एंटी एसओ वाज नेगेटिव नेगेटिव ग्राम ग्राम पर पर And then a patient underwent kidney biopsy. How much time does it take in your hospital for these blood tests to be back? So this blood test. Serology. For uh, here, so for respiratory process, it will take uh, three to four days. So did you wait till your next step, or did you do Sir, the patient? Sir, when patient came to us, uh, the all the reports uh, was with him already. These reports were done outside. In our hospital, when he came to our hospital, he <coughs> went uh, kidney biopsy. Okay. Sir, kidney biopsy. Sir, kidney biopsy. Uh, biopsy shows light microscopy. Sir, multiple. Uh, sir, glomeruli. Sir, multiple section <coughs> came with uh, HNE pass silver with a mark. Uh, कितने रिपोर्ट रही हैं सर ग्लोमेरुलाइज सर 24 ग्लोमेरुलाइज कितने होने चाहिए एडिक्वेट बायोप्सी के लिए 10 एट लीस्ट 10 ग्लोमेरुलाइज शुड बी नेगेटिव किडनी सर यस सर एट लीस्ट टू से क्यों भी सिंगल पर ट्रांसप्लांट में कितने कितने होने चाहिए एक चलो Non globally, non globally sclerosed. The globally appear variable in large, exhibit diffuse, mild, moderate increase in mesenchymal cellularity, segmental global endocapillary hypercellularity with intracapillary neutro neutrophilic infiltration. Cellular crescent formation is noted over 10.41.6 percent. Global and out of 24. Yes, sir. To over to 41. Cellular crescent. Cellular crescent. 41.6 percent and the general hypercellularity hypercellularity and the membrane thickness नहीं है and answer endocapillary hypercellularity with intracapillary neutrophil infiltration fibrinoid tough necrosis is observed in five 20.8 percent glomeruli with glomeruli show sub endothelial hyalinosis deposit tubular atrophy and interstitial fibrosis involved 10 to 20 10 to 12 percent of sample cortex Tubule show focally prominent cytoplasmic vacuole chain with acute injury. Scattered so RBC cast are seen in lumi, uh, tubular lumina. Mild chronic interstitial inflammation, interstitial edema are observed. Artery show medial thickening, sub intervallic sclerosis with arterial show hyalinosis lesion. In uh, IF, IgA three plus mesangial and capillary wall granular. IgG negative, IgM negative, C3 plus 3 mesangial and capillary wall granular, C12 negative, kappa plus 3 mesangial and capillary wall lambda chain plus 3. These are the IF findings. Answer. IgA क्या बताएँ? Three plus. Sir, IgM हाँ, three plus. Mesangial and capillary wall granular. Sir. 
इलेक्ट्रॉन माइक्रोस्कोप बताओ सर इन इलेक्ट्रॉन माइक्रोस्कोप की ग्लोमेरुलर बेस पेंट एंड थिकनेस वेरी फ्रॉम 286 to 669 nm and effacement focal effacement of foot process of visceral epithelial cell is noted about 70 percent scattered sub endothelial and mesangial electron dense deposit are de identified which do not show definite substrate on examination and high magnification tubulo reticular inclusions are not identified in endothelial cell cytoplasm focal genium subendothelial widening and neutrophils are seen in several capillary lesions sub epithelial deposit humps are not identified so so final impressions sub endothelial and mesangial conventional electron dense deposit no substrate is identified in deposit granular basement membrane thickness is uh, sir 286 to 669 ओवरऑल कमेंट्स में बोले उन्होंने प्रेजेंट स्टडी रिवील कन्वेंशनल मेसेंजियल सब एंडोथेलियल इम्यून कॉम्प्लेक्स टाइप ग्लोमेरुलर डिपॉजिट एंड अकम्पनिंग सिग्निफिकेंट पोडोसाइट इंजरी लैक ऑफ सब एपिथेलियल हम्स फेवर अ डायग्नोसिस ऑफ आईजी एंड एफ्रोपैथी मेस्ट स्कोर वाज एम1 ई1 एस1 टी0 सी1 सर सो द आईजी एंड एफ्रोपैथी With uh, Mr. Score four. Why the uh, fibrinoid necrosis? So basically, fibrinoid necrosis is a feature of vasculitis usually, but uh, it can be present in. Yeah, can present it. as a part uh, as a part of uh, <coughs> what is international risk prediction tool mm. so international risk prediction tool is uh, basically we are doing to assess assess the chronicity of in, in case of igen of the to assess the chronicity ongoing chronicity in one year two year five year or 10 year by 13 uh, measures by 13 parameters at the time of kidney biopsy so kya kya karna hai sir uh, in this patient uh, have you calculated yes, sir, sir. what is what is one, in one year 2.7% in this patient yes sir for one year so just to this uh, all the parameters all the sir, points sir gfr at the time of so gfr at the, at the time of biopsy systolic blood pressure diastolic blood pressure uh, age mest scoring mein all all four parameters mesangial endocapillary uh, segmental sclerosis ya tubular tubular atrophies and sir एग्जाम में अगर तुम ऐसे बोल दो ना सर देर आर थर्टीन पैरामीटर तो बाद में थर्टीन बोलना पाओ तो मुश्किल होता है देर आर वेरियस पैरामीटर थर्टीन नहीं बोला बोला जाए What is the molecular weight of IgA? How many molecular weight of IgA? सबसे बड़ा कौन सा होता है ये इसका सबसे हैवी कॉन्ट्रोवेट किसका है आईजीएम आईजीएम तो अब अब आईजीए का है पहले तो मुझे बताओ मेन पैथोजेनिक थ्योरीज और आईजीए नेफ्रोपैथी 
अभी तो भी आई है लिखा है यार जस्ट लिस्ट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव ऐसे नहीं बोलना कि देर आर फाइव थ्योरीज ऐसे नहीं बोलना फोर हिट थ्योरीज हाँ बोल इस 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 मेंशन फॉर आईजी इन फ्रेंड कैटी सो इन विच इन विच डायरेक्टोस डेफिश इन विच डायरेक्टोस डेफिशिएंट पॉलीमरिक आईजीए वन इस एब्नॉर्मल आईजीए प्रोड्यूस बाय सिक्रेटरी इस सिक्रेटरी आईजीए वो मॉलिक्यूल जिस प्रोड्यूस बाय सिक्रेटरी सरफेस ऑफ म्यूकोजल म्यूकोजल सरफेस द दिस आईजीए इस एक्ट एस ए ऑटो एंटीजेंस so antigen and antibody both are combined usually this uh, usually this combined and usually not cleared by liver so that because of the big complex and this big complex is ultimately circulate up to uh, mesenchyum of uh, uh, kidney where it deposit and activate local complement system so further uh, produce uh, so further because of deposition of this uh, uh, this uh, Uh, complex and activation of C, activation of complement system, the pathology or pathogenesis finally occur. The patient get disease. So, where what is the source of IgA in the body? Sir, uh, there are two kind of uh, IgA, the plasma, plasma uh, originated IgA and secretory IgA. Yes, sir. What kind of mucosa is there? IgA. Sir, secretory mucosa means sir. Uh, वो माल्ट बेसिकली नॉर्मली कहाँ होता है ये सर आईजी सर इंटेस्टाइनल म्यूकोसा ओरल म्यूकोसा ओरल से शूट होता है माउथ से सलाइवा में भी होता है पीएल में भी होता है अंदर जो सारे रट रट में होता है पर मैक्सिमम कहाँ होता है इंटेस्टर डट विच पार्ट होता है सर लार्ज पार्ट ऑफ पेयर 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 The other one is other one is plasma derived IgG. Just. अभी तो कहते हैं कि tonsillitis से साथ भी आई ये नफ्रोपैथी. तो वो क्यों होती है tonsillitis के साथ भी वहाँ rotor production यहाँ increase हो रही, नीचे हो रही है intestine से कहीं भी हो रही. तो कौन से forms मिलती हैं? जो secretion होती हैं secretory forms. जो तुम कह रहे हो ना मोनोमेरिक होती हैं, डाइमेरिक भी होती हैं, पॉलीमेरिक भी होती हैं। पॉलीमेरिक, पॉलीमेरिक आईजी। वहाँ पॉलीमेरिक में होती हैं मेज़ेनियम में। यस सर। इसमें कौन सी आती हैं? पीएस पैचेस में। और सर्कुलेशन में कौन सी होती हैं? सर्कुलेशन के अंदर मोनोमेरिक। हाँ। सर्कुलेशन में यूज़ नहीं मोनोमेरिक होती सर नॉर्मल लीवर लीवर में सर कफर सेल्स एंड दिस सेल्स एलिमिनेट और दिस सेल्स बेसिकली एलिमिनेट दिस आईजीए मॉलिक्यूल्स सो व्हाट आर द व्हाट इज़ द कॉमनेस सेकेंडरी कॉज ऑफ आईजीए ना प्रोवेटी सर इन सेकेंडरी कॉजेस कॉमनेस मेरा क्वेश्चन है व्हाट इज़ द कॉमनेस सेकेंडरी कॉज ऑफ आईजीए लीवर डिसऑर्डर्स लीवर सिरोसिस प्र what are the other secondary causes? Sir, inflammatory bowel disease and celiac disease. Crohn's celiac and uh, in uh, uh, autoimmune disorders, ankylosing uh, spondylitis and uh, rheumatoid arthritis. These are the secondary what causes. What is dermatitis or petiformis? Dermatitis, yes sir. This is one of the causes. So, you said one is that heat theory, various heat theory. Other other theories, other subcategorical mechanisms in the mesangium. <coughs> what is April? You know? April or bliss. What yes. is April and bliss? What is April? Sir, April. Uh, April. What is 
the Indian hygiene of repetition is same. But uh, tum, if you are not able to answer this question, then it will be very difficult for me to pass you. Uh, Indian, uh, anybody knows about <coughs> Indian IG and Afropathy? Grace IG. Grace IG. Grace IG. Tell me what is it. No, I don't want to tell you. Tell me how it is different from the rest of the world IG and Afropathy. Number one, presentation. Number two, course. Progression. Number three, progression. Or onset is how it is. Usually most of the time patient presents with CKD stage 3 or beyond. Okay. Patient has an aphrodite range protein urea majority. Gross <coughs> image urea is again seen in 40-50% of patients. This is a patient that is not Indian. It is all in it. It is an aphrodite range protein urea. It is a gross image urea. It is a retinin. It is a GFR already for CTD uh, stage 4-5. This is the hypertension again is prominent. And uh, uh, the course is very rapid. Yes, the IGA both are right. It is a benign disease. Indi Indian IJ is not a benign disease. Then Indian onset, the population it uh, relatively earlier. Second, third decade. The party word may third, fourth third decade. decade. Indians may second, third decade may occur. Male, female preponderance kya hai? Yeah, very common, sir, very equal. Yeah, yeah. Whereas in the other words, it is a male predominant disease. So, it is very important that our nephrotic range presentation, which is not in the rest of the world, where it is very much. If you do it in the world, every patient is nephrotic. Yes, sir. When you do it in the world, you get nephrotic from the nephrotic. The treatment is invariably CKD stage 3. Do you study it? Do you study it? Yes, sir. It is important. Yes, sir. और ये तो तुम्हें पहले पता है पेशेंट एग्जाम में थोड़े पता होता है यहाँ तो पहले पता कितने दिन पहले पता है तुम्हें टेस्ट का एग्जाम में तो उसी टाइम पेशेंट आएगा एक कंप्लीमेंट एक्टिवेशन के लिए ड्रग है जो आईजीए में विच इज बीइंग स्टार्टेड राइट नाउ कौन सी ड्रग है जो कंप्लीमेंट सी फाइव Avacopan and C5 you have converted as a nutrient 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 as a Testing, sir. In testing trials, they use patient who was average protein to 2.6. Sir, in IGA they use 1.6 and testing they use patient who are having average was more than 2.4. The basic trials should be on your tips and the numbers. The newer trial had more patients between 1.4 and 1.8. The other question which we can ask is like, what are your treatment goals? Like sir mentioned, you control your blood pressure, maximize your ACRBs. Don't forget. Anticoagulation, Ecosprin, Statin, yes, those supportive therapies, weight reduction, stopping smoking yes, if they are doing. Yes, These yes, are all your basics of all glomerulonephritis, yes. not just IgA. Yes. Whether it is lupus, whether it is anca, whether it is IgA, you have to keep in mind all these. Yes. Then your infection prophylaxis, if you are using immunosuppression, if you are using high dose steroids, then you know st uh, gastric ulcer prophylaxis, and bone, maintaining your bone mineral density, you have to give them calcium also. These are the supportive therapies. But when you, like, now coming back to this patient, this patient does presents. So how will you treat this patient? Uh, sir, you will treat uh, this patient as a anchor vasculitic, uh, because it, it has a RPRF and has a present up to 50%. So so basically sir, we are giving methylprednisolone, three pulse dose of methylprednisolone along with oral and cyclophosphamide, six doses of cyclophosphamide, 500 milligrams in each 15 days up to three months. 
for anka you have different regimens when you're saying i will treat like anka vasculitis this is an optional regimen where you're saying 500 mg every two weeks but this is not the main regimen described how do you dose at cyclophosphamide in anka uh, 15 mg per kg body weight uh, at intervals kedigo guidelines give you very well defined weeks where you have to give the dose Sir, this is because you mentioned dose, I will treat like anchor. So first three dose in uh, in uh, in, the, in the interval of uh, two weeks and the next three dose in interval of three weeks. Zero, two, four, seven, ten, thirteen. Ah. This is clearly mentioned up. Yes. And how do you dose it? Just cyclophosphamide. Sir, in uh, more than more than sixty year of age and and uh, as per the uh, as per the GFR, two point five milligrams per kg uh, per kg body weight. Dose of two point five milligrams. Reduction. So 15 to 12.5. What else? For age more than 70, you go down to 10. 10, yes sir. And if there more is GFR less than 30, you further decrease it down by 2.5. Yes sir. Yes, sir. What are the side effects of cyclophosphamide? Sir, uh, side effect of uh, uh, gonadal toxicity. Infections, hemorrhagic cystitis, uh, leukopenia. That can be transient. So, yes. why do you worry about the cumulative dose of cyclophosphamide? Sir, uh, uh, sir, and malignancy. Sir. Malignancy. And Which malignancy and what dose? Uh, uh, sir, uh, lymphomas, uh, basically. At 20, 22 dose of 28 gram. So broadly, yes, more than 30, but approaching 36 to 40. Those are the risky areas where mm -hmm. yes. you have to keep in mind. Keep in mind your basics, like I said, ACRVs, infection prophylaxis, and when you are using steroids, remember the side effects. And like Sir was saying, I think with experience, you learn when not to give immunosuppression. And when you are going to cause more harm than a benefit, that is the key which only comes with, I think, experience. With. What are the uh, uh, HLA associations of IG and FOT? Sir, uh, DR, uh, HLA, DR, so one, DR, 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 no, DR3. DR3. DR35. Address may have transplant address Sir, after transplant, it is basically as per the Tango study, 19% of reoccurrence after 10 years and 23% of reoccurrence after 15 years. And basically, it is depend on cadaveric, cadaveric or live related. In live related donor, or uh, in level donor, it is it was a 30 percent in 10 year, and and in the category donor category transplant it was 23 percent. In fact, with the HLA, actually you can predict that with certain. Uh, yes, uh, more HLA match, more there is a chance but of this more. This is one disease where unrelated donor is preferred. Yes, sir. And the course of the disease after transplant, the, does the native kidney disease, sir, native disease has got any bearing on the course? Yes, sir. Native kidney disease have a deposition of uh, approximately 60% of the patient uh, are deposition of uh, IgA, uh, IgA deposit in native kidney. But but uh, but there is a kidney. But over the time of 3.5 year period of 3.5 year. There is a uh, 12 to 15 percent of graft loss because of. Yeah, but a better question different. Uh, the natural course of IgA in the in the patient before transplant, the, the recurrence will also mostly have the same course. If if it was a very permanent course like in this patient, yes, sir. If, if if the actual onset is post two months, then this is a very very uh, rapid uh, downhill. So then this patient, if you do, you do transplant, then you chances are that he, he, the chances of the course, uh, recurrence uh, course will be same. 
what about you mentioned about certain art arterial changes also some in the artery yes sir in biopsy sir mm. so how do you explain those changes they are also because of vasculitis or do you think patient is having underlying hypertension yes, these changes are usually seen in the case of uh, underlying hypertension hey that's why they were whether this uh, hyalinosis whether this patient was having a sexual hypertension only as per the history there was a patient was normal tension but he was having hypertension yes, what I mean, how was his left ventricular hypertrophy where was the apex beat sir in uh, apex beat are usually in the same position because the concentric lvh usually the same how how we do diagnose left ventricular hypertrophy on uh, sir, the left, uh, physical examination a, apex beat uh, usually apex beat lateralize apex beat to the mid clavicular line Hmm? Lateralization of uh, apex beat uh, from mid clavicular line. This is usually down and out. Down and out. Yes. Down. Yeah, down. Yeah, term okay. Yeah. Down, down and, and out. out. Yes. If apex beat is within mid clavicular yeah. line, so versus if it is outside the mid clavicular line, so down and out oh. means there is a yeah. left ventricular hypertrophy. Is patient with high or not? Sir, no. There was no examination. I have mentioned. Thanks. So, what is Berger disease? So, IJ vasculitis we call uh, we call IJ vasculitis. The other name of IJ vasculitis is Berger disease. And what is HSP? An Ockshollen purpura is also called IJ vas IJ vasculitis. Hmm? So, IJ vasculitis. Thanks. Does this patient has got uh, HSP? No, sir. Why? Sir, a classical feature of uh, HST is uh, basically it, uh, it uh, has a small vessel involvement. So there is a abdominal pain, joint, uh, joint, uh, uh, multiple joints pain, and skin rashes basically, along with renal failure. These are the four classical features which was found in uh, HST. So. There is no extra inner features in. What What is the usual uh, pattern of uh, this uh, uh, rash, perpetrated rash? Non per uh, non uh, palpable perpetrated rashes. No distribution problem. Sir, this is basically this lower limbs, me around the buttocks and trunk. Mainly around the buttocks. Yes. You have done it. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. You have seen it. Yeah, yeah. Fear was not there. Okay. Yeah, but there are perpetrated rashes there. Why is it purpura? What is it? What is purpura? So because of the small vessels are uh, because uh, the location of a small vessel, it is the upper dermis of a small upper uh, in upper dermis. These small vessels are usually are present, and because of the vasculitis, a uh, 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 macropapule lesion or rashes are present over the epidermis. Same purpura. What is actually purpura? What is purpura? The... What happens to the platelet count in HSP? So normal platelet count. So non non thrombocytopenic non. So non thrombocytopenic purpura. So it is not thrombocytopenic. So actually, what is purpura? So it is a to a one one two. What is purpura? What is purpura? Inflamed. Eh? Extravasation of RBC to the epidermis. So it's a big cause. Big cause. So, what is it? It's a rash. It's a rash. It's a rash. It's a rash. That's why we say that it's a purple rash. Red color. So, that's why it gives that red color. So, purple may be thrombocytopenic. It may not be thrombocytopenic. Yeah. So, that's why you are saying that this patient doesn't have HSP. Because abdominal pain नहीं है क्यों है ये abdominal pain? Because it involve a mesenteric or तो mesenteric ischemia yes sir because of involvement of splenic perforation because of vasculitis joint pain क्यों है ये? Inflamed synovitis synovitis और vascularity और क्या होता है? 